guys and welcome back to another video part of this mini series Akintosh way <laughs> and the fix for this video is do you have sound and when your computer goes to sleep and wakes up do you lose sound if you do then you might want to check this video which is a really simple fix, fix sorry uh, so stay tuned Okay, so as I said in the small intro, uh, if you have sound, everything working fine, you just leave your computer to sleep and in my case it really sleeps well and then wakes up. I'm using caffeine at the moment so it doesn't <laughs> fall asleep. Uh, but once it wakes up you have no sound. That was a problem that I had on a morning that uh, I did install it and it really bugged me out. And I had to uh, shut down so I searched a little bit and uh, there was a lot of solutions, uh, some of them required some coding and, and, and there was an app for that as well, you had to run the app, really didn't like, search a little bit more, didn't, well didn't waste, waste too much time, but search a little bit more and find something that I said I'm going to try this and see if it works. So let's see what I did in mine. I'm going to leave this here just so you can see the specs if you haven't watched the other videos. By the way, this is a mini series about uh, why I'm doing this, the, the Akintosh and the problems that I, I found which were minimal and how to fix. So this one here in case you are facing the same is about the sound fix after the sleep. So one thing that you will have to take is uh, go to the downloads. Um, as you can see my iMac 2013 <laughs> has a lot of discs in here. <laughs> so one, two, three, four uh, well, four, yeah. One is my system windows, export, backup, import, and I'm missing the Yosemite, which is here, yeah. So, one, two, three, five discs. For an iMac, is not bad at all. But uh, not running out of topic. So, one thing that you will have to search for is Chameleon Wizards. Uh, and once you do that, just open it up. Uh, and this you will have to tweak something which I will show you if you go to your device Mac and then go to your disk where you installed mine is called Yosemite uh, and then you have a folder named extra and then on this extra here you can open it up and even if you're not an expert on coding which I'm not uh, you will find some information here that you can decode nothing uh, really complicated, things that you chosen on your multi-beast installation. Uh, and if you open this one here, SMBUs, you will find that it has um, your model Mac and well, all sorts of information. So something not difficult that, that you can see that some of the info is here, some of the info well. So after researching a little bit I found out and tested and worked great. As you can see here uh, and this is it seems very simple but it's 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 important. I Mac 27 inch late 2013. Probably when you install it you're gonna get a Mac Pro 3.5 or something like that a 3.1 sorry not 3.5 a 3.1 model late 2008 or early 2008 I can't recall that. What you want to do is to fix this uh, sound issue, what you want to do is uh, choose a model of uh, the Mac very similar to your build. So what I have here on my PC, on my Windows PC which is running OS X now, uh, I've got an i7 4770K, I don't know if I said a 70 more but i7 4770K, uh, Asus Z87 Expert motherboard, I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, I've got uh, what else, well you can search the channel you will find my computer there uh, with all the parts. But these main motherboards um, with uh, the CPU which is as well, you will have to find a model similar to yours. In this case what I did was uh, simulate with this software here, this app, the iMac. So I changed it from Mac Pro to iMac and I chose these 
uh, specs here because these specs are uh, the most similar to my computer. Now on my kids PC over there uh, the specs that I chose were late 2013 21 and a half inch um, model iMac. So as you can see two different machines here with the, with the Yosemite having the same problems uh, I just chosen the, the the let me say the most similar specs on an iMac and this did it for me this fixed on two systems that I tested on the other system I don't need to test them because it's a real iMac my wife's iMac so um, what you want to do is if you if you have an Ivy Bridge CPU you want to look for an iMac with an Ivy Bridge CPU with a close match to your components and this will fix the problem for you now uh, going back to the screen what I suggest you to do at least I did this I didn't need it after but I did I did copy these two files and just placed somewhere safe which in case uh, you can um, open well connect this drive to another Mac or to another Macintosh and then just replace the files and you will be fine again uh, so what you want to do here is go to the uh, not the ST, SMPUs, okay, and right now it's showing an iMac 14.2, and probably you will have uh, your Mac Pro 3.1. If I'm not wrong, I don't, I don't recall now. What you want to do is go open your file, which will open this file here, uh, SMBUs, and open, and then you want to edit and in here you will have well you will have to make a, a small search on Google maybe to, to know uh, which one do you want to choose uh, MacBook Pro Mac Pro uh, let me search here Mac Pro I think the one that I had was this one here LGA 770, uh, 775 uh, I think this was the information that was showing here and to be honest with you uh, this is the fix so once you choose the model similar to yours mine was this one here iMac 14.2 and you get all this info here um, you don't have to change anything just once you select the model it will be here for example if I change to a MacBook uh, Corto 2, 2 Duo it will change all the information. I'm not gonna save because this will probably break my uh, Macintosh. <laughs> As you can see, this file is very important. But uh, this did it for me. Uh, let's uh, close this and go to the downloads again. Open it up and edit. So here we are again. Uh, and this is it, I'm not going to waste much of your time. So once you do that, you're going to save it uh, here. Just select the model. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to press save, but save it. And once you save it, all you have to do is reboot. And once you reboot, uh, you are good to go. And test it for yourself. Let it sleep, let it wake, and you will have sound and everything <laughs> working fine. So if this was something that was useful to you, thumbs up spread the word if not if you didn't like the video for some reason just thumbs down or comments or whatever you want any questions uh, that you want to ask just feel free bear in mind I'm not an expert in these kind of things I can touch I just know some things about my system and that's it uh, to be honest there are a lot of guys in the community that can help much more than I do uh, but this is my small contribution to the Akintosh community because I did take something out of that as well for myself and I feel obligated to give something back so hope I could help I see you on the next video which will be uh, yeah if, are you getting freezes on your Mac it freezes so the solution will be very simple uh, just stay tuned for the next one and bye bye